Hi everyone! It is time for another room tour. Now, it's just a portion of my room. It's been over like, I think a year or two and I have made some changes. Well, living in your room for a long period of time, you realize there are some things that you need to move around and things that you wanna get rid of. So I did a little bit of changing up and I thought I'd share with you that update of the changes that have happened. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Penelope Pop, also known as Winnie Wong. A lot of my videos are centered around curating your lifestyle and living with the things that you need. Today, I'm going to be doing a room tour and it's just like a walkthrough of the things, the changes that I've made and why I've made those changes. I always like to think that every single part of my room is built with intention. Every single aspect I'm going to use. So that is what I'm gonna share with you. And I'm also gonna share all the different things that I have purchased and where I purchased it. So if you want it to, you can get it too. It will all be in the links in the description box. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna share is my bed because it's right smack in the middle and I have changed it. It used to be a lot wider and you can probably see in the old video that it is different. Now I wanted to go for something more simplistic. I actually kept getting um, hit on the side so I kept getting bruises. That's why I made the change to a bed. I mean, it was a really good bed. I just moved it to the other room but I was getting bruises on it. So I just thought, okay, Time for me to change, I don't want to get any bruises anymore. So this is the bed that I have. I got it custom made at Restoration, which is at Rockwell. It took about like four weeks to get it complete and they did, delivered it on time. They even fixed it to make sure that the mattress is the height that I want it to be. The bedding is just from Canadian Bedding. It's a great bedding source, you can order it at SM. Then here, my pillows are from Tempur and various brands. And if you're wondering where my duvet is from, it's from Taiwan, because they have really nice duvets there. And then moving on to the painting, I have changed it. I think I took note of it already before, but I changed it. Uh, this is actually an overlay of my old painting. So I still have the same canvas, it's just I completely changed what the painting is. My mom actually painted over it and she, it was done by her. It's just textures of white. I just want to feel a sense of calm in my room. So that's why I changed it to make it look more blank. There's so many things that are going on in my head. I just want a little bit of peace. And so I've made my room a little bit more zen. Then we're looking at the side tables. So here I've purchased these side tables from Triboa. I also made the change because my old bed had the side tables connected. So I did purchase a new side table. These two were from Triboa Bay and they're located at Mega Mall. None of this is sponsored by the way, I paid for everything. I really like these side tables. It's a nice accent. I was actually really inspired by Maison Trouvé. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. That is an interior designer on Instagram and he's done designs for Jen Atkin and various famous people in the US. Here we have a side table lamp. This one holds a candle. This is a candle warmer. I use it as like a makeshift lamp and it will heat up your candles and it keeps the longevity of a candle for a longer period of time rather than trying to heat it up. I have these plugs right here. These are Xiaomi plugs. So the Xiaomi plugs actually can automate it to like turn on at a specific time. I can actually also control it on my phone. So the light over here, I have labeled it under candle and, and you can schedule it to switch on at a specific time. So for me, I have this on from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and that's the period of time it's on and I can switch it off. I have two right by my bedside table so that I also have one for my charger so that um, I don't charge my phone for a long period of time. It's only on for a specific time. This one was purchased from Whom, H-O-O-M. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that will be um, indicated. Then this was actually purchased from Design Story. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of places that have this, but I saw it on Design Story. Most of the time it's holding the peace sign, but you know, sometimes Pat changes it to the middle finger. Peace among worlds. Peace among worlds. Inspired by Rick and Morty. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the other side table because I also have some cool accessories here. So I still have my Google Home. Over here on my side table, I have another diffuser, which I sometimes use, which is nice to put like a nice calming smell. Um, it's usually for like sleep and stuff. I like to have it on. So this one was from Poosh. It was a collaboration between Poosh and Sage. I also purchased the Sage Natural Wellness blend, which is the fresh laundry blend. I really like my room to smell like fresh linen. And then here is another room spray. I like room sprays because like I have cats. So I like spray room sprays because I like to make my room smell nice. I have six cats, so you can imagine sometimes the smell could leak out of the cat litter. And then here is my Google Home. So the Google Home is a device that I can use. It's like a central system. It's like a sound system. It, it has a clock, um, it's an alarm, I can tell it to switch off the lights, I can tell it to switch on and off the TV, I can command it to play particular songs that I want. It's a great device that I have and I find very handy, especially when I'm so lazy to switch off my lights. I have made sure my lights are all like smart and that I can automatically say, hey Google, switch off the lights and it will do that. Oh, it just got okay, dark. Turning five lights off. Hey Google, switch on the lights. And what I appreciate. <laughs> okay, thanks Google. So what I appreciate about um, smart home is that I'm able to do it myself. So if there are any, um, if I change my Wi-Fi or if anything happens, I know how to reinstall it myself. I definitely think that helps if you know how to do things yourself so that you know how to fix it for longevity purposes and making sure that all your products are used with intention. So the next part is the sofa. I've had the same one for a while and this one is from Philux. This side table and also this sofa is from Philux. Philux actually is a local furniture store which makes really, really nice furniture. And I like this neutral toned color and matches now my head. I mean, <laughs> it matches my bed now and other parts of my room. So I really like that. Manto, sit. Okay, I really like that aspect and it's very comfortable and you can have a lot of people sit down and you can have nice conversations, but it's not like you can have a lot of people over anyways, maybe like one person, two people at most. And oh, also I have new curtains as well and they are also smart automated. So I can have the curtains close at any time. So I have the app, which is an Akara app. You can actually watch it on my Instagram video where I talk about my smart curtains, but I can actually tell it to close. So I have three different curtain systems and I can control it to open and close at a specific distance I want or just fully close. I actually automate it to make sure that this closes at 6 p.m., which is actually pretty soon. Um, so it will close. But just to show you how it looks, I can also tell Siri to close my curtains. Why does this never work when I want it to? So I can have it close. And then I can execute it to open again. Let's keep it on because we need the light. So I find it really handy because I don't need to go and close it every night. It's already automated. It closes at six and then I can choose whenever I wake up when I want to open it. So I can appreciate the light outside and then when it's about to get dark, it closes automatically. So over here, I did change my TV and just because like I couldn't connect a lot of HDMI cords, it wasn't as smart. So I did make a shift. This is an LG TV and um, it's a flat screen. It really produces nice quality pictures. I'm not advertising this at all. I purchased this on my own. And then here is a Sono sound bar. Now this is has Dolby Atmos to it, which gives that like cinematic sound when you are watching Netflix or something. Since I want to have like an immersive experience when watching shows like Modern Family, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, that's the type of immersive experience. I do watch a lot of shows and I do appreciate the soundbar. This soundbar is actually quite new, but I really, really like it. This is the Sono soundbar and I purchased a wall mount so that I can mount it onto my wall. 
And I've also made sure that it is wire free. I have my Apple TV at the back. I have the Google device at the back and then I have like a bunch of cords. Even it will fit a switch. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it's as wireless as possible. The only wire you can see is like one. If we could live in a world without wires, that is the best. And I can also like choose which program I wanna watch straight from my phone because it is connected to my Apple TV and Google Chrome device. Google Chrome device, Chromecast. And I can screen share and airplay it so that anything on my laptop that I wanna play, I can have it switch on. So actually I can just play a video. Okay, so I just switched it on because I just airplayed it and... Mando! Mando! Okay, so now we have the suspense of waiting for the video that's gonna play. I wonder what it is. Dun, 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 dun. Work! Well... Well... Okay. So the next part is this little like mirror, large mirror area. I've had this large mirror ever since like I moved into this room. And this was also custom made at Restoration. They make nice sturdy furniture and I really like it. It's quality, it lasts for a long time. And it's a full body mirror so that when I walk out the door in my sweatsuit, I know it's okay. But I did change the stuff on the side. Originally, I had like a little side table, but now I have uh, I have a little workout station, and um, I have some lights here too. Uh, this side is for weights. I started trying weights because of the Open Fit program, the Shea Mitchell four week program, and then here I have a little nice map made by my friend Mercedes, who was also in my Open Fit video. She's actually a very talented artist, and she had made made these rugs herself and I was able to get first pick because I helped her with some stuff. I got first pick and I got the one I wanted. These are all very unique, limited edition and she has more coming. It's called Studio underscore Meche. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna say it. And then here I have a little like basket. This one's actually from uh, Heart Evangelista's this is from her home, Maison Love Marie, and it's like nice local basket, and it gives a nice accent and touch. Mando! 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 So this basket gives a nice like, um, give, it brings a nice texture to the room. And then I have all these different, hold on. Come back, okay. This little culprit right here. What are you doing? Okay, sit. Okay. So over here I have I have a yoga mat and then I have a foam roller and then I have a block and then I have um, another large foam roller. It's not a foam, I, it's just a foam thing, which is good for exercising and I do use it. These are all my workout tools and I try to display in a nice manner because I do use it. So, but I also want it to be aesthetically nice. It's just the way I like things. And I guess the last part of the room, we just went to all four corners. It's like we went around the world. And this part is like a nice little like nook. I can't say like reading nook cause I don't read as much. That's embarrassing to say. So let's just say that this is a nice like zone of meditation, which I don't even do. <laughs> okay. Well, so, Bongo's doing it, look at that. Yeah, Bongo's meditating. So we have Bongo here and we have the little terrorizer Manto. And um, Manto sit, sit. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so this um, chair is from Felix as well. I don't know why I'm holding my phone like this, but I have been doing it for the entire video. But this one is from Felix, and mostly my cat Bongo sits here most of the time. He's just chilling, and sometimes this gets dragged out when Pat wants to play Monster Hunter, which is most of the time. It's like right here near the tape bed. And then here I have a plant from Tierra Plants, and they, they have been sourcing my plants for a long time. I wanted to find a plant that was leafy, but also not like, not too leafy. 
if that even makes sense. But I just wanted something that was tall so that my cats wouldn't eat it, but at the same time, I get to appreciate a little bit of lush in my very bare room. Um, just because I can't have plants in here anymore because I have cats that like to bite the plants and then they get poisoning. So we just eliminated that factor and just left with this. It's pretty high, so they can't get to it. So we are left with this plant. And yeah, that's the that's it. That's my room. And these are the upgrades that I've had. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, do let me know in the comment section down below. But because I have lived in here for, you know, for almost, I mean, I've lived in here for quite some time, but I am staying here for longer periods of time because, oh, it, my curtains are closing because it's 6 p.m. Watch it close. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up everything that's in my room. I've pretty much described everything that I have in this room. So if you do wanna purchase it, you can, because I have mentioned where I bought it. Mostly it's here and that's it. Because I did some changes only because I've been living in my room for longer periods of time and there are some aspects that I realized, hey, maybe it's not as useful um, and I am always trying to change things around to fit my current lifestyle. And that's the reason why I made the changes and also because I wanna make sure that it's enjoyable, as enjoyable as possible because of quarantine life. And that's it, that's my video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye bye